Lots before we get into today's match reaction, make sure you smash the subscribe button if you haven't already. Look at how close we are to 1,000 subscribers, a massive milestone for this channel. We are so close, so all the help that we can get will be greatly appreciated. So if you are a new viewer and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already to help us hit 1,000 subscribers as soon as possible. And also make sure you like the video as well and also turn on notifications as it really does help and support the channel and you will never miss one of my latest uploads. So then, that's your man that is match reaction. So then, for mana nine points, Arma three eleven match reaction. Um, I suppose before we get into anything here, um, if you did watch my vlog, which you say many of us did watch my vlog, but if you haven't already, watch it after this one. Um, I said at the end of the vlog it was a uh, quite a terrible game before um ending off. Of course, by no means did I mean it was a terrible game. Like in terms of the results, I was just a bit unhappy. I think at the end of of the entertainment overall of the game, I thought. The second half, like I mean, Arma of course gave themselves a privilege to really ease off and fade in the second half. But we still did get a good few scores in there. But it felt more like a challenge game that second half. Like it just was, it was over by a contest after about over fifteen minutes gone. Like so, I was frustrated about the entertainment, but obviously I'm very happy about the result there. Obviously, we'll take a big victory, a big eleven point victory. I think it was in the end. There I could be mistaken. Uh, yeah, it was eleven point victory in Alice Skill, and obviously very very happy with that there. And we've. Our, our place then in the Ulster semi-finals as expected um, look at overall it was a very strong performance and a very well deserved 11 point victory here I mean I said I wanted to see some goals and of course we did see some goals all came in the first half unfortunately not down on my end it was down all the way at the other end but sure what can you do about that like there's nothing you can do about that but still overall I was happy to see some goals scored in this game and I think overall like for Mana I mean I said it was a half time as well I thought they had the right tactic but they weren't executed properly. I thought I think there still is a good side there enough for Mana side, but in this game they didn't turn up. I mean, going into half time, only two points in the board, really it doesn't really say anything and that only the second point down in that the first half came literally right in the last kick of the half. As soon as that went over, they're off free to blow for half time. So yeah, for Mana weren't great. Like I mean, sure they did step it up a bit in the second half. However, I mean they did draw the second half like so I suppose that is a positive for the Earnsmen to take it overall. It was a very very easy victory here for Armagh here in this one so I suppose then um, let's not waste too much more time here let's get into some players then um, I thought the key part of Armagh's game in this one today, of course we scored three goals got 11 points but I thought the key part of our game today was our defence I thought our defence definitely did uh, set the foundations for us to get a big victory here in this one I mean of course they didn't threaten us too much for Mana I'm sure they did get a good few good uh, flurry of scores in that uh, second half however overall I did think we could limited them a lot I mean sure they didn't attack the go Arma goal too much in that first half but still most of the time when the ball was launched in we had players to recover the ball turn over it and start a counter attack Paddy Burns in my opinion for me Paddy Burns is my man of the match that may be a bit controversial many people may see Paddy Burns maybe didn't play at his best game in this one however I, do, I still do think that Paddy Burns was very good in this one like I mean every single time there was ball and he was turning it over constantly uh, especially in the first half like I couldn't really tell what was going on at the other end of the second half but however the first half from what I could see Paddy Burns was solid at the back line you know constantly turning over the ball very strong in the ball too yeah we won't talk about a shot early on but I mean overall I thought very solid in this one like looked very very comfortable on the ball He's been so underrated this year. Like Paddy Burns has been amazing all year, consistently putting in good performances week in week out for us. And I think it's definitely by time he does get the credit he does deserve. That's hope now he keeps it up here. I think he's definitely been one of our best backs this year. Possibly, you know, I mean, I wouldn't go as far as saying he's been one of the best backs in Ireland. Obviously, I wouldn't go as far as that. However, if he does keep it up here, then if he does keep it up, like he probably will get more and more recognition. And possibly, if he does improve his performance even more then he maybe might be in for a shout as one of the best backs maybe in Ulster so far this year so I thought overall here Paddy Burns once again another good performance here keeping up his consistency and well then let's hope he keeps motoring away and let's hope Paddy Burns keeps on putting in very good performance for, performances for us in the back line for Armagh I suppose then Kieran Mackinac came in Sanner up back here in this one played the sixth role I thought he was very good here in this one you know he kept the back line he kept the back line in good shape so he did also got two points for himself as well he had a very good game and this one Kieran Mackin which I was very happy to see and well then possibly 
Could we see Macken playing a lot more then at centre back after a successful performance against Vermana? I do think he that we definitely very well could. I mean, obviously if Greg McCabe has come back, maybe Kieran Macken's position could switch again. However, Kieran Macken looked very promising there in um in centre off back. So I definitely would like to play him there in the next couple of games, see how he does get on and well then we're gonna make our mind up then when some of the injuries do come back. So Kieran Macken I thought was very good as well here in this one. Really helped keep the defence line in good shape. Well, was also very good going forward overall is all around game very good in this one and let's hope then in the next couple of games that we possibly can see him play center center off back again in the next few games and let's hope then he can put in similar performances really helping out the team in all departments as much as possible i thought aaron mckay then of course and fullback he was another player just like paddy burns who was constantly turning over the ball i mean i suppose like near near the start of the game we were tuning it up i think it was after maybe just less than 10 minutes and well Blaine Hughes was commit to um to could just commit to a ball sent by Ulton Kelm. It's an open net for Fermanagh. Surely it's a goal for the Irons men to put them ahead. But Aaron McKay steps in and has his goalkeeper gloves on him, obviously, because it's an amazing save off the line there. So, I mean, if Fermanagh scored that goal, this game definitely could have been a whole lot different than what it was. So, I think that was crucial in terms of swaying the game uh, in terms of Armagh's, uh, in, in Armagh's favour in terms of momentum. Like, I think that was really, really crucial there. So, Aaron McKay definitely very well could have saved us there and ended up getting us a much more comfortable victory than it may have very well have ended about to be so Aaron McKay again I thought was very good and full back he's been another very consistent back all all year so far with Armagh and another player I'm going to point out is Joe McElroy I thought McElroy once again it says every time I mention him he's, his work rate is incredible always running you know he's very good again and the wing half back I do think here in this one so yeah Joe McElroy again I thought played very good here in this one all around like I mean I suppose you could mention even Peter McGrain as well had a decent game Aidan Forker had a good game as well as they support and I mean the players that did come on as well Barry McCambridge it was very good to see McCambridge get on the score sheet as well overall like I think everyone who did play a part in that back line as well was very good Blaine Hughes of course also keeping a clean sheet another clean sheet which is very good to see there overall no complaints every single player in that back line from Blaine Hughes and Nets to the subs such as Barry McCambridge coming on definitely did play their part to an absolute pitch in this one. I suppose then, uh, running away from the back line now onto the midfield and the forward line, I thought that midfield duo of Ryan O'Neill and Ben Creedy really did work a treat here in this one. Ben Creedy was winning everything in the air, so was Ryan O'Neill. Like, Ryan O'Neill was very good in the air. I must say, I was very impressed that Ryan O'Neill did play in midfield. Maybe it's not um, where I would definitely prefer, prefer. I don't think it's definitely, I don't think midfield really is his uh, best position to be playing in, but I do think he definitely did put in a solid performance here in this one. Scored a very good point early on there and um, maybe put one or two away so we might need to get a wee bit more clinical you know um, but I think that definitely is something we can work on obviously he only played 40 minutes here and that's when I got a bit of a back injury as well landed um, a bit awkwardly after a high ball with a Fermanagh player he was off then for a few minutes before coming back on again so all be well I think Ryan should still be uh, I mean, he's, he's definitely be fit for the down game in the semi-final surely but yeah then that's hope he keeps motoring away let's hope then he can maybe get a bit more clinical in the next game because I think so far what we've seen Ryan O'Neill does look promising this year and if he can't improve in his shooting then he definitely will be some player for us come the latter stages of the championship um, Supi Campbell I thought was probably in my opinion I think he Supi Campbell may have been our best forward in this one I mean it's tough to know like I mean and most of our fours sort of play similarly in terms of how good they were of course he did get one of our three goals which is very good to see I forget it might have been the palm he got I'm not 100% sure but I thought he was very good overall and the cameo he did make it here and this one also scored quite a good point I do believe in the end uh, Rory Grigan actually got man of the match in the end here in this one and um, only scored one point which was from free however overall on the ball like he was amazing in this one he really did help create a lot for us here in this one in the centre half forward and he really was the link man in between the midfield and the forward line again here in this one Andrew Mernon also looked quite tricky in the ball as well um, I don't think he scored a goal no I think he did score a goal as well I mean, I'm, I'm losing I'm losing track of who all scored goals for Arma. I, I don't think he did actually I'm not 100% sure I'm going to leave it at that I'm not 100% sure if he did score a goal or not here in this one but for the goals like I thought Mernon really did help a lot of course moving back to Grigan then of course him and Creeley had a good link up which led did lead to our first goal so I thought Grigan again as I said before, he really was helping with the link-up play 
uh, between the midfield and the forward line. Connor Herbert, of course, also looked very, very pacey on the ball as well, which is good to see. And he also did help create a lot. He definitely did score a goal here in this one as well. And Jolly Oak Burns also got a goal for himself as well. Jolly Oak Burns, of course, played corner forward here in this one, which was interesting to see. I thought him and Ryan O'Neill might have switched and we'd see Jolly Oak Burns playing in midfield. However, that switch did not happen. And in the end, Jolly Oak Burns, I thought, did play very good in corner forward. I suppose I can sort of see why McGinney did play in corner forward because, of course, I mean, in the league final against Donegal, he was very good, especially going forward, scored our first two points of the game. So we got two points in Crow Park. I do definitely think Kier McGinney could see some very good um, attacking um, ability there in Jolly Oak Burns. So he decided to trim in corner forward. And I mean, he got a goal for himself. Also got a point for himself, I do think, as well. So yeah, I think overall, uh, Jolly Oak, again, I think everyone, again, in the forward line really didn't do too bad at all. Like, I mean, I thought even the, I mean, Ash and Connolly, of course, didn't score a point. However, it's only his first championship start, championship start, I do think. I think before this game, he'd only actually played in two championship games. There were sub cameos against Down and her own last year. I'm pretty sure there was only two cameos. So, I mean, I, th I think he's still to do quite good. He definitely did put a lot of effort, a lot of work rate into this one. And well, then let's hope in the down game we can see uh, Oshin Connolly getting the score sheet again. And let's hope he can then get a couple of scores against Diana Clonus in two weeks' time to really help us in the forward line. I suppose then, we move on to some of the subs as well. I thought the likes of Aidan Nugent came on, obviously. Didn't get a score, Aidan Nugent. Whoever, I was impressed. I thought Aidan Nugent did look very good. I mean, he was always on the move, like uh, very pacey as well. Got the ball, he was able to run at the front of the defenders. I thought he looked very good in this cameo when he did come on. And Oshin O'Neill, of course, did get the uh, uh, final score of the game. It might have been from a free kick. But again, Oshin O'Neill was all over the place in terms of in the midfield and the attack. He was very good at linking up the midfield and the attack, just as Rory Grugan was in this one as well. So, I tell you what, lads. We are looking dangerous. Like, we are looking dangerous this year. I'm not saying we'll beat the likes of Derry. Um, if we do end up playing them in the Ulster final. However, I still do think there is the talent in there and the ability. I think on our day, we can definitely beat Derry. Like, I mean, we won't look too far ahead now. I suppose we just have to look at right, what is right in front of us, and that is down in an Ulster semi-final in two weeks' time. Hopefully, we can see them off again. Of course, um, of course, last year scored four goals against down. It wasn't really much of a contest there last time out in Clonus. So, I mean, I think the main thing again here is to get a victory. Hopefully, we'll see some more goals against down like we did last year however I think that's going to be quite unlikely of course I mean scored four goals against them last year Connor Laverty is not want to, going to want to concede any goals this year against Armagh so I think Downs defence is going to be really really tight and tricky to break down but I'm going to say it comes down to you know getting scores from distance like I think that is what this game against Downs is going to come down to and I think you know we've got some brilliant boots there like Rory Grugan Ryan O'Neill of course Soupy they can all score points from distance even Oshin O'Neill I would say would score a good, a good amount of points from distance like even you know Oshin Connolly Connor her but and player like a lot of them players in the forward lane have proven before they can score from distance even like here in Macken when he's coming up with the ball he definitely does have a bit in him as well so I think they're still I mean even if down are very very tricky to break down I still do think there's a lot of very good players there who can shoot from distance and score from distance which can really help us then if down are tricky to break down and we're struggling to break through and try to get a goal or two in this one but I could be wrong like I mean we could definitely very well could score goals against down as well that's definitely what I would love to see would love to beat the old rivals down again that definitely would be very very good for Armad to set up an Ulster final then come May time and I mean then overall here just have a wee short overview then it wasn't the most entertaining game at all I mean 7,000 was the attendance of Brewster Park again I said about um 6,000 uh, I said uh, at the very least 6,000 that was Armagh I mean it was another strong uh, support shown for Armagh then and then a skill and that's hoping we can get a big crowd down in Clonus then to really help drive the team on into an Ulster final against Down it should be of some atmosphere it was an amazing atmosphere up until Armagh to destroy Down last year to year remember I mean especially Craig Mudge it was an amazing atmosphere in Clonus last year so we'll be hoping for something similar this year definitely so I definitely am very excited for that trip down to Clonus to take on down and well then let's hope then we can bring the colour of the noise again to really drag the team on overall like and again again we're just going to go back to the Fermanagh Armagh game very good to get the victory very comfortable and easy performance in the end for Armagh and a very good performance of that as well Fermanagh were poor in this one however there still is 
quality in there for them to go far in the Talisman Cup. One hundred percent, no doubt about that. And well, overall, then it didn't. It I mean especially in the second half, it did really feel like a challenge game, which was a bit unfortunate. Like I would have liked to see a bit of a spectacle then, as to considering like especially. I mean a lot of talk in the media about the Prevention Championships dying. It would have been nice to see for Manab possibly challenge Arma here in this one. But I mean we got out of that game stress free. We got the victory, so I know I'm not gonna lose any sleep over that definitely. So yeah. Uh, overall, like Arma, very happy with their victory against Fermana. And well, then let's hope we can replicate our performance against Down to bigger place in our second Ulster Championship final in a row. And that will end it is Fermana v Arma. Match reaction, everybody. I hope you enjoy. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And you got all the support on the channel once again. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all once again in KDFG very, very soon.